Hello, Gemini. It is time for your mid-May to June reading of this current year. Hope y'all are doing well. Oof. I'm doing pretty dandy. It's been an interesting whatever months this is into 2019. Very, very interesting year, indeed. Lots of things have happened for all of us, I would say. I can't remember what yours is, but I think, like, I just assumed you guys are going to start a fight somewhere, because you're good at that. So, go for it, man. <laughs> okay, so this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. If you want a personal reading, my um, email's down below, and if you want to just donate whatever... Um, my PayPal is also down in the description box as well. I really don't charge for anything. You just donate whatever you want. Either way. We're here for you. And you. And you. And you. And you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the devil will reverse. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, or trying to get out of some negative vibration you have with another person. Like, a lot of people like to call another person toxic. No. Toxics are poisons. People are just difficult. Some are deadly. The sun. Could be a Leo right here. This is your wants and wishes, but most likely you just want to be happy. Four of Swords, Reverse. This is in your fears and rejections, like taking time to think about something. I believe that. Ah, I definitely believe that. I really think it's you guys like being afraid of thinking on something. I don't know what it is though. Uh Ace of Pentacles in the situation. Prince of Pentacles reverse and the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Is someone trying to offer you something that's already dead with the devil? You know, you've already dealt with the devil, but now there's a new offer to like take up another contract with them just to see what goes around. Like, oh, maybe it'll end up better this time. You know, like one of those things, right? That's like the situation, but what's coming against you is um, Capricorn towards Virgo also. So you might be definitely, definitely, you could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn if this is the case. But this is just somebody um, not offering something or not coming with an offer. It's like been halted. It's been yielded. It like it's turned around to the past. So it's going back to where it came from. Because that was what was supposed to offer the offer, but it's like it's walking away now. Like, yeah, but he's still looking back like, are you sure you don't want this? Catalyst as well as the final result. Somebody snooping, gossiping, talking. It could have been you, Gemini. It also could have been Libra or Aquarius. Or it could just be someone like going out with some false information, spreading some rumors, looking to snipe somebody, smear their reputation, stuff like that, right? Beginning theme, someone in the shadows, probably jealous that you're getting all the blessings and they're in the background like, hey, or there's just someone in the background you're not thinking about right now because you're too busy doing you. Could be that as well. You got like the tiger stump footed totem guy right here just giving you blessings and shit. It could either be you or this person, but it's like, you just got out of this relationship, so now you're trying to keep the offer from going forward, and you're trying not to think about it. I can't tell that's my eyes when we're at the stereo. And over here, like, the offer is here, and it would make you happy. In a sense, sure, but like there's something over here where it's like, mm, I heard or remember some shit, right? Oh, 
Sorry. My husband just came in, so. Okay, so. We got the devil right here, right? Okay, so this devil... Like, the devil technically is not the problem. It's the vibration between the two people. Like, you actually look at this card. You can see that he's standing between them because they're the actual antenna that summoned him in the first place. So, it's like, the frequency they created together caused this enmeshment of, like, corruption that spreads through the both of them. Um... It's kind of like the two of like this like this situation doesn't exist without the two of them being together in this. But this could also be a Capricorn who is kind of up to some shit, you know. To be quite frank, like you're definitely could be up to something. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, especially right over here where they're sending something, um, they could be acting. They might be having their sociopathic tendencies come out. So that's kind of crazy. Um, page of Cups right here. They might be offering their cup up, too. Like, this might be a naughty little Capricorn, but they're definitely, like, being impulsive with their heart or their feelings, whatever it may be, um, for some reason. They might be this person in the background watching you like a goddamn stalker. Like, the next challenger approaches, like, or they're the random character in Smash Brothers, one of the two. Ace of Pentacles with this offer. Oh, yeah. Um, it's basically like trying to get blood out of a turnip. But in this case, a tree. But as soon as you pick these off of the, this tree, they all wither and shrivel and melt into slime. It just grows. Uh, this is something that, like... This is like... Repeating this is to me like is re repeating history like you've done this so many times. How many times do you think you can do this? You know, um There's something I watched on television a long long time ago Where well, it wasn't on television. It was in school and I and I can't remember what class it is Yeah, but I remember that um the guy on the movie or documentary or whatever had said, the more copies you make of something, the less appears there or whatever, or the less is demonstrated. And I, and I think that's one of the situations where it's just like, you're, you're trying to cause this tree that you've already sucked extra out of hundreds of times. You've basically already taken enough of its vitality to where, like, you're not going to get, like, much of anything different than what you've already thought. Like, it, you've played the video game so many times that, like, it can't offer you anything new. And they aren't making anything after it, either. That's, that's basically what you're doing. You're replaying a game that you've been bored of. Oh, the sun. What would make you happy? Not talk, uh, Just running away, just leaving, just going. Um, could be you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Wow, that is really loud. Like, you just want to gallop away from this shit. And, like, the, and like this devil over here could be Capricorn. Um, the Page of Cups is facing the other way with him. So you're both just facing different avenues. Like, he's trying to um, give love to the past. Or the vibration of this relationship is trying to almost beckon you to like impulsively go back into it because you already know how to get whatever out of this tree. But um, what you really want to do is just leave. Like you don't have a reason to be there for whatever reason, right? Okay. Prince of Pentacles reverse. This person is yielding with an offer. This is the challenge and obstacle going against you. It could be this person who's, like, not really delivering the offer or whatever. Like, they left just as uh, twice as slowly as they did, like, um, come in with the offer. They're, like, looking back at this Princess of Swords, like, hey, I still have this. 
But it's, it, it just leads to the sucking out of the tree. And I think the offer is because, like, someone isn't very comfortable with themselves or by themselves. Like, they feel like they're going to lose out on something. Like, trophy wife just went to brokey wife, you know? Your fears and rejections, this four of swords, thinking about it. I can only imagine what you're thinking about. Like, almost like someone is dependent. And that's why they're... But they're very, very slow about this offer, too. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, of course. Usually Sagittarius for me, because that's my rising sign. Um, you're not... Someone's not thinking about... Um, somebody is not trying to think... Is afraid to think about how they are going to maintain their status. Because she's kind of like status about this. Like, she stands, oh, oh, so regally, oh, so beautifully. It might be an image thing. It might be a status thing. Someone's worried about that. Like, oh, God, um, how am I going to support myself, you know? But we got, like, the Princess of Swords, right? But she's reversed, and she's really kind of snooping and stalking and being really like a single white female on every person or whoever um she is watching back here get their blessings or whatever trying to make her presence known like just standing in the shadows but not wanting to come forward and saying hi being that kind of creepy person right because that's not normal don't do that shit that is totally not normal that's not cool. don't just stand there and like Look at a look at a motherfucker and <laughs> expect them to just walk over to you. Like, are you coming here or are you not? Like, it's almost like if it's you, Gemini, you're trying to keep an eye out to see what the person's really up to. But you might be going about it excessively. If this is not you, Gemini, and this could be another person you're dealing with, um, this person might have problems. And they might feel justified with doing it. Um, possibly a Libra you're dealing with. Might be a little bit uh, vindictive with what they're doing. Right? But they feel justified in doing it. Or they're spreading lame shit because, like, they gotta think about their status. Make it appear like they're the hero or whatever. I'll go with this. Okay, so someone's coming out of their illusions. Like, their emotions were getting played as strings, and there might have been a realization that there was somebody either manipulating this to happen, or, in other cases, you might have manipulated this to happen if Gemini did this. Cross-watchers as well, you know? But, um, someone is mad their cups are spilt. That's what they want to say. They're in the background waiting, watching, hunting like the predator to the prey just wanting that chance to just be like what are you doing i see you're having a good time without me mm -hmm. oh my goodness gemini y'all are the most interesting people i swear i love the way you are so many adventures and stories come with Gemini's. Let's see. Yeah, um, someone won the battle, but they lost the war. They didn't think that their, um, manipulations would come back. Either to bite them in the ass or haunt them or get brought back up again, I feel like. Maybe that's why this Knight of Swords over here is, um... Running away instead of, like, going forward into battle with this. Like, they're, like, they're walking, like, this person over here is walking away with their tongue sticking out. Like, fuck you, I don't care. Like, I'm happy I fucked with you anyway. And 
And there is a decision that needs to be made. Like, one of these dudes are gonna die. I don't know how blood poisoning isn't going to happen in this situation. But there, it does seem like the decision needs to be made. That's a really good point. Like, if one of these dudes die, the other one will get blood poisoning. Because the other one isn't circulating blood anymore. His side will be dead. Nah, that was way more symbolic than what I was... Wow. Yeah, there's actually um, two conjoined twins, uh, Dasha and Masha. Um, one of them died. I can't remember what of, but the second one died because of blood poisoning because they were conjoined twins. And I remembered that for some reason, looking at that. It's just be like, yeah, even if you do make some sort of decision, like, you might just be killing yourself at the same time. So, communicate. Possibly there's an Aquarius around you to deal with as well. Like, you can, Okay, you can either deal with the Swindler, or maybe there's an Aquarius that you need to deal with. I don't know, but it's like... Or maybe you're already dealing with this Aquarius, and you're that's why you're keeping your image. But you're still kind of like... Was interested, I think, in this one, but this person is just like a sore loser and everything, too. It's like, and they're right in the background just to come back and scold you for stuff that's been spilt for a while ago while ignoring that, like, these cups have been sitting here. So, yeah. I kind of see why you're, like, galloping off a little bit. But that was yours, Gemini, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.